सो हेलो एवरी वन हैव यू एवर फेल्ट लाइक यू आर स्टैंडिंग एट अ क्रॉस रोड और राइट आफ्टर योर बीटेक इन इसी वन रोड सेस यू हैव टू चूज फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड द अदर रोड आउट सॉफ्टवेयर एंड अ थर्ड विस्ट फॉर गवर्नमेंट जॉब ओनली एंड समवेयर इन द फॉग देर इज अ ब्लिंकिंग साइन कॉल्ड ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप कन्फ्यूज और ओवरवेल्म डोंट वरी यू आर नॉट अलॉन इन द नेक्स्ट टेन मिनिट आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू अनलॉक रियल पोटेंशियल ऑफ योर इसी डिग्री बाय एक्सप्लोरिंग द मोस्ट पावरफुल एंड डाइवर्स करियर पाथ अवेलेबल टू यू एंड ट्रस्ट मी बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल सी योर बी टेक नोट एज एन सर्टिफिकेट बट एज अ मास्टर की टू मल्टीपल हाई ग्रोथ इंडस्ट्री सो रेडी टू रिकॉर्ड द फ्यूचर लेट स्टार्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ वॉट मोस्ट पीपल इमेजिन वेन द हियर इसी फोर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स Imagine you are building the brain of a machine, tiny chips that make your car, phone, or even rocket like of things. So that's what a VLSI engineer does, working with ASIC FPGA to design and verify this circuit. Then there is the embedded system engineer. This one programs the brain. It's like giving your robot both a brain and a personality. You will work with microcontroller, sensors, and a real-time application. the very soul of iot device and don't forget the electronic design engineer think of them as architect of gadget they sketch simulate and test everything from pcb to entire control system if company like intel qualcomm or texas instrument excite you this is your zone tool for the trade learn verilog system verilog matlab embedded and c so this is the basic thing you required to get into this industry and now switching gear to it field so see well guys that you are not betraying ec by going into it or software development ec student are like a swiss army knights sharp logic math skill and problem solving mindset whether it is front end back end or full stack your brain is wired for it get strong in data structures and algorithms and along with that pick up java python and also learn git aws and react okay now companies like Google, Amazon, Infosys, and Wipro love hiring EC grads. Why? Because see, we speak the language of system, whether it's in software or silicon. Now let's see our networking and telecommunication side. So see how device talks to each other. The networking and telecom is your playground. As a network engineer, you will be the bridge builder. Make sure data moves reliably across the globe. As an RF engineer, you have to. Work with the radio frequencies, the invisible threads that keep phones, GPS, and your satellite alive. And then there is the futuristic role, 5G and IoT architect. See, you will be designing the highways for smart cities and connected cars. Learn CCNA, dive into the protocol stacks, and get friendly with companies like Cisco, Nokia, or your Jio. Okay, <laughs> I hope probably you are using Jio. Now let's go to the next slide, and here comes your government and PSUs industry. So see, many governments and PSUs industries are also there. Now, if your heart beat for prestige, stability, and nation building, then government and PSU jobs might be your true calling. Okay, so think of ISRO, DRDO, BARC. These are not just jobs; they are the missions. To get in, you will need to crack exam like GATE or ESC. Ah, uh, it is tough. Yes, but so it is launching satellite, and we do that to remember. So master subjects like signal, networks, EMFT, and control system. What is the reward you get? So a reward you get that like a career that blends respect, innovation, and national impact. Okay. Now, if you want to higher study or an MBA to switch to business and leadership role, think IISC, IIT, and top foreign university in the US, Germany, or Canada. You should end up working in robotics, AI, or even build the next Tesla tech. See, I am giving you a pro tip like GATE for Indian colleges, GRE for abroad, and CATE or GMAT if you are learning towards MBA. Okay. Now let's come to the R&D department. R&D is the most famous department right now going in the market. Let's say you are the curious type, the kind who asks why, not just how. Then research and academia is your lab. You can become a junior research fellow. Okay. Pursue a PhD or even become a professor, shaping the next generation of engineer. Imagine working on groundbreaking technology and uh, like then teaching others how to build them. It's a great opportunity you will get after doing this research and academia kind of thing. Now, 
Let's flip our table. What if you don't want to join Google, but if you want to build your next Google? Hello to entrepreneurship. You could start a tech company, maybe something in IoT, robotics, or automation, or freelance as a PCB designer or embedded system expert, or even build a personal brand through YouTube. Like I, right now, I am doing this thing also. So you can also start blogging or online courses, just like this one. So it's risky, yes, but also thrilling because when you are the boss, you decided the rules. Okay, like see, you have to face many responsibility, but uh, yeah, you will get get a good reward from this. And after that, let's fast forward to the future. What sort? Like see, AI, ML in hardware where AI meets electronics. Okay, so you can also go in the semiconductor industry, especially with India massive investment, and you can also go with IoT, robotic, automatic. Like especially ADAS and smart automation, and you can also go in the cyber security and digital signal intelligence, where you are defending the digital frontiers. Okay, now see, these are not jobs; these are the revolution in disguise. Now see, before we wrap up here, like I just want to give you a some few point. Pick your niche early as possible. See whether it's VLSI, AI, networking, whatever excites you. Build a real project. Nothing beats a practical experience. Okay. So all, along with that, use platform like LinkedIn for networking, GitHub for code, Kaggle for data, and hackathons for fun. And above all, never stop learning. And because the EC world is not static, it's an electric. So see, where do you want your BTEC to take you? This is the truth. Like uh, there is no single best path, but with clarity, efforts, and passion, every path can be the right one. If this video helped you, do like. Share and subscribe. And let me know in comment which path you are excited about the most. So this is Kittu Patel helping you unlock your potential one bit at a time. See you in the next one.